Okay, so right now what we're doing is I promised Sebastian I will meet him. Uh, Field Croft, he hosts meeting a new student. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck? He hopes meeting a new student will bring some cheer to his sister Annie. But there's something ominous happening in Feldcroft. Oh man, what's going on here? Let's make sure we got that because. Holy fuck, this shit is far away. Oh look, more of these things. Point. Point. Okay, let's go let's go check this out i feel like this is where like a a crazy shit happens oh dude this game is huge what is that an owl the castle it must have been quite stately in its time it seems quiet too quiet what the fuck is talking hey sebastian you made it. Uh, land, dude. There we go. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Yeah, I mean. Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it. There is a camp of Even enemies right there, so. Was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand. Oh, no man, that I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Felt okay. Felt used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Revenia. Oh, what is this? All right, let's see your sister. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Oh man, is this a trap? What is this? You wouldn't set me up, right? Oh no, she's right there. Aha! Sebastian, where did you? Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Oh, the trailer. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. <gasps> but we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. Oh, man. When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept uh -oh. it. Uh -oh. Now look what you've done. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, so he doesn't want her to continue doing that stuff. I'm sorry you had to see that. You're good, my dude. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn it. All right, since I'm here, you know, might as well uh, loot up as much as I can. Nice to meet you. Welcome. I am Bernard Indiai, and this is my shop. Is there anything I can help you with? What do you have for sale? Let's see, what do you got? What are we in the market for today? Oh my god, that fucking scared me, dude. Okay, don't need that. Don't need that. Definitely don't need that. Nope.
Moon calf fur? I mean, since I haven't seen any of these, might as well cop it. I wish I paid more. <gasps> What's this? That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to oh, stop. Oh, nephew. So it's not his dad. Man, but nothing can be done for her. I'm so sorry, Shirley. There's something. I'm so sorry. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. Until she dies? Oh, fuck it. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. Oh, if you man. really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you remember what I've said. Good day. Well, I mean, that's kind of weird. That's really weird. Rebellion. All right, Sebastian, who are you? Difficult to bear. Dear Anne, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still a fool, but you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better. Revenia. Oh, another letter. As uh, Sebastian, this is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be. Anne? Are you alright, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. I adore teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. <laughs> I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an exora, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. Mm. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. There's like the same thing as a... I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Rebellion. The, the... The girl from, um... The past. <gasps> Take the pain away. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. He was out of line. He's just trying to do what's right. I'll admit I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. 
He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. Yeah, exactly. He's simply given up. Yeah, exactly. Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Yeah, man, you know, that's... Reynolds loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Where are we going, my dude? Hold on, let me, let me fix my shit. Um... Let's do that. And then this. All the debris you'll see is from what's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Rebellion. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Come, bitch. Not quieter than a job or not. Any who oppose Ramrock will be eliminated. Eh, fuck it. Let's go balls deep. What the fuck is this, this dude? Is where you will fail. One less shooter to get away. Don't move. Oh, you're such a fucking bitch. Confess. Rebellion. That was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Warn me. <gasps> Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, and rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. They're trying to hide something and they'll kill for no reason. Seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. 
The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Hmm. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Maybe... Maybe ancient magic? I've heard the goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. So I wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Hopefully... He doesn't find out that it's like, um... Ancient magic and then he... Fucking hates us for all of us, uh, randomly. Rebellion. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was, a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Maybe the guys that I was talking to? In a portrait? Because this looks uh, similar to the first uh, backstory thing. Sebastian, over here. Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. This well looks familiar. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is part of the Sebastian, first thing. I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Rebellion. Well, our first friend turned to enemy. Sebastian. This house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The Keepers, like in Quidditch. And you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good well, reasons to search told them earlier. House. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Revelio. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it not something? Only one way to find out. Revelio. What do we got? Lumos. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. I try here to learn, but no longer I'm to show you lose hope. I saw the mini leave camp. Show you wasn't okay. Seems these journal entries are from Isidora's travels. Journal entry of Isidora's. I should hold on to this. Hmm. What am I missing? Confringing. Revelio. 
What the fuck? Undercroft. What? A daydream? Revelio. Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange. Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Hey, let's Fair go. Enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. Okay. I'm tempted to hold my breath. I see what we got. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. <gasps> I was missing a painting. And that's where to find it. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? Yeah, I don't know. What is this? Oh, we're under the castle. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient mm. magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts? Ooh. You did not. Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. Yeah, me neither. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Yeah, I wonder how he would have took it if um if I didn't come clean to him. Okay, let's see. Where where are we going now? Correction spell? What the fuck is that? Deke? Who the hell is Deke? Oh, this Deke? guy. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. 
What the fuck? Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Oh. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can, on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Okay. Uh, let me get my shave real quick. Grab that. Grab that. Yep. And yep. Oh, I can make those now? I need knockgrass. Flexing. Ah, we'll just keep it there. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. I knew it did, uh... Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. <laughs> it was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Um... We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Oh, okay. Only tame magic bees can be. And do that. Do cooperate, won't you? You got one. Take this. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Oh, let's get one more. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, okay. I think we got enough, right? I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Oh.
Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanols are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a Jobanol. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Levioso. Uh, what was that again? I rescued a jobanol. Deke hopes your jobanol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live moon in a calves? clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Oh, does that mean I could... Use those fuckers to farm uh, the munting. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Deke thinks well, you should be proud of all the potions you brew. Oh, these guys. Love you, sir. Oh, hell no. I'll look after you. Vivelio. Levioso. I wonder if I could get like an unlimited supply of them. was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, check it out then. Oh, my shit glows? There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Jeez, it's almost 15 hours in and <laughs> we finally got this. Heavens! You've done it! 
But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah, damn. Look at this. It's amazing. Oh my god. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. Oh, there's variants. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, so I can only get 12. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Deke's no herbology professor, but some plants here seem to be ready to harvest. Oh. <laughs> oh. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Oh. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Oh, okay. I thought I was about to clap them. Deke thinks you are doing good work here. Oh my god, another part where I'm just gonna take my time. <laughs> all this have a wooden pile whoa holy shit Guess we could put that there. Then put this one right, right there. Uh, up 
door items, building pieces. Okay. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Oh, upgrades? Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Um... So what did we even get? Oh, there's another category. Okay. Conjure an enchanted loom? Uh, in a channel loom with the ability to enhance clothing was magical. God, I have so much shit. Uh, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's see. Now can I do it? Um, 59, 60, 62, 58, 59, 50... Okay, so maybe this one. Oh, upgraded five times? Enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Okay, I think, uh, I think this is everything, right? Meet me near the ruins 
of Falbatten Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Hey, yo. This might be the last thing we do tonight, because holy shit, I am tired. What time? One more class, depending on how long it is. Um, You know? Okay, it's upstairs. I'm actually curious, how many side quests do I have right now? <laughs> they all just piled up. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are you up to now? And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Oh, on the rooftop? Hell yeah. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no. Bring it into focus on your own. Holy shaboing. What does that mean? Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <laughs> <laughs> Dismissed. <laughs> okay. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. What's up, Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Oh, man. Is he trying to smash the wall, man? That's very kind of you, Emmett. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? Nope. I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... Thank you, Emmett. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards. And oh, man, why you sound so weird? There's something I want to talk to you about. Hmm, okay, that's, that's it. He sounds, he sound like, so hesitant. Trying to put off my Rebellion. Wait, anything in here? Oh, good, that is supposed to find serious and my hands are too cold to use a telescope. A dog, isn't it? Ooh. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. Incendio! Avelio. Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Oh, 
the perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is... Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Something else. Yes? What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. So if I say no, he will consider me a coward. Oh, no need <laughs> to convince me. Let's get going. Okay. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Oh, you manipulation. <laughs> The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Lumos. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Centaurs? Okay. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If oh, brother. Sure. Hmm. A body. Rebellion. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Tidy, as I expected. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to the school, Emmett. Shit, sure, I wish. Revenia. Oh, I've seen this before. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. Oh. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Hmm. Oh, shit, that was kind of difficult. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's hey, don't generous. you admit, man. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really. Gobbledygook? gobbledygook you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Hey, hell yeah, man. What an excellent broom. <laughs> Holy shaboing, man. Jesus. Okay, um, let me see. Wingardium Leviosa? <gasps> oh my god, this is kind of far. Um... I 
Ah, fuck it. We could, we could go to that one. Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? No, we're here for the, the missions. We're here for the missions. Hold on, let me get this real quick. Hell yeah. Psst, over here. Quietly. Holy shit, I haven't seen you in a while. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Addy, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. Okay, say less. Well, you can't imagine how inconvenient oh my travel gosh. was before what I invented What the fuck? Oh, dude. This charm is stronger than I have thought. They do not want anyone with me. Okay, so how do I go up there? Oh, right there. I see it. Find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Wait, what? Rebellion. like what the fuck what am i supposed to do there that looks as if 
it might raise the gate. Revenia. Okay, let me oh my god. Let me fix all my shit. Uh pull I'll do that, that, and that. I didn't get it? Oh my god. That took so long. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. We'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Is she crying? Yeah, restrain the pain! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hi, Wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! 
Good. Oh my god. Lost it. Oh, there's got to be a, another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. <laughs> I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Revelio. Fuck what I no broom. Let's see, did that work? This place to sneak into. Oh my god. Come on, bitch. Perhaps I shall scout around. Shut the bitches up. Jesus, dude, I cleared the fuck out of that shit. There we go. What the fuck You're is that? going home in a wooden box! Let me out so! Hold still! I got wrong thing. Beautiful. Revenia. Oh no, Duke was right. We need to save you from these barbarians. Great. Come on, buddy, let's go. Uh. 
Velia. Whoa. Oh, secrets. Shit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cool. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. Oh my god, I can't wait to get my permanent one. Exciting. <laughs> oh, it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. Mm -hmm. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that High Wing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Okay. Wait, so is this mine? <laughs> What? Oh, the Bolchia. Illegal. What the fuck?
No need to race now, my friend. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Oh Meet me at his my home. god. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Oh! <laughs> what? What was that? Um... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Does that mean I could bring him out? <gasps> wait, let's, let's see this guy first. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. That, one, that one's cool, but the real one, the one I want, is this one. Oh. How about some sightseeing? Yeah. Oh my god. Time to go a little quicker. Oh my god, this game is beautiful, man. Sure I do. Ominous knows that. Yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. So, I've been playing um, the side missions on my own time. And now we have the opportunity of a spell. A spell to torture. And... I've come to play this game for one reason and one reason only to torture. So if I have the choice, I'm going to do it. I want to learn the curse and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well. If that's what you want to perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me and firmly declare Crucio. Hold on as long as you can. Say fucking less. Oh yeah. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> 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 Uh. Oh, yeah. Are you all right? That pain. I would have done anything to make it stop. But I'll survive. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. Revelio. Yeah. We made it. I can't wait to We use found that. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. The secret and well protected room beneath Hogwarts and Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent time making various long term plans with respect to the student population and reflecting on disagreements he had with other founders. I can't believe we're here. <gasps> Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. 
You two go ahead. Let me know what to do. I'll wander around. Oh, a spell book. Hmm, more spells? Okay. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy. Pavelia. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. What the fuck? Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never oh, man. What's to do up this, this again. Dude? Oh man. your way out best news i've heard all day ominous about your aunt please sebastian i meant what i said before we swear right now never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again understood i'm truly sorry about your aunt ominous I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. What the fuck? You just left? <laughs> um. Rebellion.